Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So, today's cigar, I just brought it back from Texas, went through a cold, and all that stuff. I don't, I don't even know if it's a cold or flu, well, whatever. So now I'm ready to smoke, but I have a feeling that it's not gonna be a good one. Why? Because this cigar is like tilted, and that was I touching it, it's missing tobacco. So, you know, that's not a typical, well, actually, no. That's kind of typical of what, like, a Zeno is like, even though Zeno is supposed to be a good cigar. So, today we have the Zeno Limited Edition 2020. There you go. This is a 5x60 Robusto Gordo. And MSRP is 25 but I believe where we got it was 28.75 and plus tax. So it's like 30 bucks. Okay. 2020. Okay. So 20, 2020 boxes of 10 cigars. So they make that's how much they make. And the wrapper is Ecuadorian, buying this Honduras. And the filler is Dominican and Honduras. So kind of like a typical Davidoff in. So, and the name, even though I call it like Zeno, this is Zeno Platinum Crown Series Limited Edition 2020. That's a long ass name, whatever. So, yeah, I'm trying to kind of work this back a little bit to get some like, you know, but I feel a lot of vein, a lot of stem in there. So I'm kind of worried. I am kind of worried. Now, keep in mind, I smoke a lot of Davidoff. And um, I don't tend to buy a lot of Zeno. I don't know why. I, I It's supposed to be like, hey, you know, it's like, it's about the guy, right? But like, I just, I just don't, I don't know. I bought a few in the past. But I haven't had really good experience with them. So, 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 so let's cut and start. But except I just came back, so I don't even have the cutter out. Technically, I can cut it without the colors, but you know, I'm trying to cut it with the uh, with the right cutter. Or the cutter that I've been using recently. But here to give you a spoiler alert. I went to Texas and I was able to buy legit Cubans. Legit Cuban cigars in an American cigar shop. And that review is coming up soon when I record it. But spoil alert, not spoiler alert, uh, preview alert. I was able with Eric, we went to a shop. They were selling legit, like we're talking about real Cubans in American shop. It's expensive, but we did it. Okay, so I smell. Very, very cedary. Very, very, very sweet, nice cedar. Give it a little kiss, just in case. It's kind of wet, I don't know. Shouldn't be. It's been. Okay. It is um, damp and cedary at the same time. A little bit earthy. The taste is kind of like putty. The mouth feeling and a little bit pepper too. A little bit pepper too. A little bit pepper. Alright, let's light it up. I do very, very soft soft flame for a jet lighter. You can tell like the flame is like but it's very soft. Very soft. 
You can see it's not trying to kill the the, 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 the the cigar. It's just very, 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 very soft light. Now keep in mind, it's not like this thing has no power. I just choose not to. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Leather, oak, cedar. Dry toasted. Peanut shells, right? Little bit of cream, little bit of not very overly done espresso beans. Like when it just had that steam coming out, that smell. Yeah, leathery. And there, if there is some black pepper somewhere, I like I taste it, but it's not really like appearing. Oh, red cherry. When I say red cherry, it's like those um. Um, fresh cherry that is like red and pink, not the purple one. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So yeah, let me smoke for one third. I'll be right back. We'll talk about how one third is like, but you know, I, I'm surprised a little bit. It's actually not bad. For, for Honduras cigar, it tastes like oak. Should have tasted like cedar, sweet cedar, but nope. We'll be right back. All right, one third. Now, what stands out the most for me, other than that normal flavor that I'm getting, you know, cedar, woodsiness, uh, some espresso note, some um, leather, some dry peanut shells. What come out all of a sudden that is kind of pleasant is there is a saltiness that come out. Right, the retro hill. You get that little bit of saltiness that kind of wakes you up or something like that. It's like, ooh, that actually made that toasted, roasted nut, peanut start to taste surprisingly nice. And it starts to have a little bit of grassy notes too. But because of the saltiness, that, that note didn't bother me as much. So, you know, first third, surprisingly well. The draw, surprisingly good. The smoke output, not too bad at all. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I thought this is going to be a shit show because, you know, it's missing a little bit of tobacco here. It's bent. It's, it's just bent a little bit slightly. I don't know if you can, you can tell. Like, this side is kind of kind of goes in a little bit. But that didn't change the cigar. In fact, I think that draws very well. Mm -hmm. Draws very well. So, yeah. Let's go through the second third, which will go close to this first band. And we'll take a look at the band. We'll take off the band. Get it naked before <laughs> before the last stir. We're going at it. You know, I really should be smoking cigars before I go to the doctor, but whatever. Second third. Be right back. Second third. Let's see the band first. This is the added band, which uh, I don't think is too crazy. I mean, uh, ignore my hat because I got hot. But yeah, um, it's just limited edition and with a crown on it. So, I don't know. I, I actually don't think it fits this that well. But yeah, let me put my hat back on. But yeah. Second third is more coffee. It's more salty. 
it has this i don't know instead of black pepper but maybe white pepper burn and it's got a little bit of um some sort of grassy note to it it's still pleasant it, it starts to taste like a normal cigar though it's not crazy um about maybe just around medium strength of a cigar but everything else is good and good i mean this is enjoyable cigar so you know it is what it is but at this price range i don't think it's worth that much i i really don't think it's 30 dollars a cigar it tastes good uh it's got good burn and everything but at this point i think it's just around 20 if anything if not less so let's see if the last third improved by any chance but i really don't think this is a 30 dollars cigar really or even 28 it, you know, it burns nice, it smokes nice, but the taste is very typical. It does look pretty badass, though, with the size. But that's pretty much it. So, all right. Last third. Be right back. Last third. There we go. Uh, last third just tastes like cedar and dry peanut shells. That's pretty much it. So, and then I think the, the string went down a little bit. So it's not, it's just under medium, but it does feel like it's easier and lighter. And overall, the, all the flavor kind of just died out except those. So it became a very normal cigar. So yeah, I don't think it's worth 30 bucks. I think it's worth about 20, if not 18, if not 18. Uh, uh, that took me a while to smoke because obviously I'm not feeling the best, but I think it's, it's about $18 cigar. It's not 30. It is what it is, you know? Yeah, just that's what it tastes like. So it tastes like a normal cigar after the halfway. First third, there's a, a more complexity. Second third, it starts to die out. Third, just dies out to just regular cedar and peanut shells. And a little bit of pepper. That's pretty much it. So yeah, 18 bucks. A little hyped out cigar, limited edition. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it all that much. I would just say smoke an $18 cigar, you probably get more transition and flavor. This one, it gets less and less, which is not what I prefer. I usually would prefer more and more, not less and less. So it is what it is. So that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, comment, share, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully um, I'll, be, I'll be feeling a little bit better and review some nice cigars because uh, this time when I'm going to Texas, I brought about a lot of cigars back that is review worthy. It's review worthy. Obviously, we also have that Espinosa one that I have reviewed. So I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.